What's up guys, Josh Dees here back with another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been around for a while, welcome back. I really do appreciate the support. I've been getting a lot of feedback. You guys are killing it and I've been more than happy to share all the information that I can give to help you guys along your weight loss journey. So many of you have asked me about a workout that you can do from home without using any equipment. You guys see me in the gym. I do a lot of weightlifting, resistance training, but some of you are not at that point yet. And some of you want to know what kind of workout can you do at home to start this doesn't really require any equipment. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. All right guys, so really the best thing you can do when it comes to working out from home is keep it simple. You wanna move your body, you wanna get your heart rate going, that's gonna put you into the fat burning mode, that's gonna build up your endurance, and it's gonna help you start with the weight loss process. So actually, you've seen me doing all the weightlifting videos, but believe it or not, I started in my apartment with this very same workout that I'm going to show you today and I did that for a couple of months to get my confidence levels built up, to get my endurance back to where it needed to be before I went to the gym and started messing with any equipment or free weight. So the exercise that I'm going to show you today is a circuit style training. So basically you're going to do three to four of these exercises and you're going to do them as quickly as possible one after the next and then rest for 30 seconds between each set and you're gonna do four to five sets of this. That's gonna really burn you out, it's gonna get your heart rate going, and you're gonna burn a lot of calories and sweat a lot doing it. So, the first thing you're gonna start with is one of my favorites, and it is just a body weight air squat, okay? So, it's really good to be able to bend down. This is a natural movement, something that everybody should be able to do. If you're overweight, you might have bad knees, but try to work on this, go to the depth that you can, keep building up until you can get to a full squat depth. If you want to add resistance to this, you can. You can pick up a medicine ball. You can pick up something in your house that weighs five, 10 pounds and hold it. And you can add some extra resistance to this. But just start with doing air squats and do 20 of these. You can hold your hands here. You can hold them out in front of you if you're not balanced well enough. You're going to do 20 of these. And then you're going to switch from this and you're going to do jumping jacks, okay? You're going to do 25 jumping jacks. One, two, three at that cadence okay you're going to do 25 jumping jacks immediately after you finish those air squats as soon as you're done with the 25 jumping jacks you're going to drop down and do push-ups okay this is going to help with your upper body strength it's going to help with your posture it's going to help with your shoulder health it's just an overall great body weight exercise if you can't do a push-up with your body weight do the assistive style on your knees okay you're going to have to put your arms out a little further for this but get used to being able to come down and lifting your upper body up, okay? You can switch this up, but there's a lot of different variations. You can bring your arms in closer. That's gonna put more focus on your triceps, okay? You can do it like this. And again, you can add some difficulty to this by elevating your feet on a chair. Um, we could use a stool to show you that and kind of do a decline push up. There's many different forms, but just start with the basic push-up, and you're gonna do 20 of those if you can. Work your way up. If you can't do but 10, do 10. If you can only do 15, do 15. Try to get up to 20. So that's your third exercise. The fourth and final exercise that you're gonna do with the circuit is gonna be sit-ups. So you can use a wall, put your feet up against it. You can put your feet up under a piece of furniture to help hold you in place. That way you can get the full contraction without getting off balance. So, put in like this. You can put your arms behind your head. You can cross them. Whatever feels more comfortable to you. But the goal is to get 20 full contracted setups. All right? So, start with air squats. Transition to jumping jacks transition into push-ups or assisted push-ups and then do sit-ups that's your four exercises you're going to do 20 reps of each and then three to five sets depending on, depending on your endurance levels your conditioning where you're at try to only rest 30 seconds maximum one minute between each round okay so you're going to do all four exercises back to back and then rest for 30 seconds to one minute between each round do that three to five rounds and I promise you, you'll start to build up muscle. You'll start to lose weight. You're going to sweat a lot. Your heart rate is going to be beating. My heart's beating already, and I work out all the time. You can hear me breathing and talking faster, and I haven't even done the full workout, right? So 
it's going to definitely elevate your heart rate and you're going to burn calories and start to get a really good sweat doing that and it requires zero equipment i'm not using bands i'm not using dumbbells i don't have medicine balls it's just you and your body weight there are some other exercises that you can start to incorporate if you get bored of this routine or if you want to make it more difficult instead of jumping jacks you can switch to burpees so come down into a push-up and then up down push up into a jumping jack you can switch it up burpees are a great high calorie burning exercise so that's another good one you can add in if you want to work on your core strength along with the sit-ups you can start adding in some planks so you get into this position tight core you're tightening all of this up learn how to brace this is really good for when you get into weightlifting also good posture and hold try to work yourself up to a minute if you can you can also get done with this and then you can switch into a side plank like this you're bracing again throughout your core and your midsection brace all of this and you're going to hold as long as you can then switch sides so those are just more exercises you can add in to do at home obviously there's a huge list of exercises the goal again is to just move as much as you can this circuit style training is really good because it's going to elevate your heart rate it's going to keep you going and the goal is to take as little rest breaks as possible you want to get the most done in as little amount of time i worked my way up to where i could complete this entire workout all five rounds in under 10 minutes so 10 minutes of your day anybody should have 10 minutes to be able to do this style of workout and it's going to be great to get you started build up your confidence build up your endurance and get you ready to get in the gym and start lifting weights all right guys remember if you guys want extra help with this if you want me to coach you through some of this stuff provide nutrition plans fitness plans motivation i got a lot more tips and tricks up my sleeve guys i've been doing this for a while remember i'm offering coaching services and there's a link below that you can click on to schedule a free call with me no strings attached you just get on a call with me we talk to you about your obstacles what you're facing what your goals are where you're at your body composition what your nutrition's like how you're eating what types of meals you're eating what your fitness plan looks like we cover all of it guys and i go into the mental aspects of this as well so remember to click that link and book a call if you really want one-on-one -on -one help with me as always remember to eat right lift heavy crush that subscribe button comment down below let me know what else you want to see turn on the bell notification see the person when i post a new video and i'll see you in the next one